me tell you about this girl Maybe I should I met her in Philly And her name was Brown Sugar See, we be making love constantly That's why my eyes are a shade Blood burgundy The way that we kiss Is unlike any other way That I be kissing When I'm kissing What I'm missing Won't you listen? Brown Sugar, babe I guess high off your love I don't know how to be Brown Sugar Hey guys, welcome to this week's vlog. So guys, we got to talk. So what we got going on today? So Bay and I are getting ready to go eat and I decided to put on a red lip because I haven't worn a red lip in months. And I wanted to show you guys a couple of things. My sales associate from Dior called me and told me she had a gift for me. So I went and picked it up and I also picked up a little something from Chanel. And I wanted to share with you a fragrance combination and all the girly things, okay? So let me start with this first. So I went and got a manicure pedicure today, right? Nothing new, white toes, blue nails. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But I went to a different place because here's the thing. I've always been the type of person that I'm so loyal to my nail tech. It's like part loyalty and part, I'm a very funny person and I don't like when new people come into my space, I'm really weird and iffy. So once I get comfortable with the person, like I'm riding with you, like it's me and you, you know what I mean? So I'm comfortable with my nail tech and I love how she does my nails, but that particular salon is only appointments. Like they only take appointments. Although like I'm a part of their like loyalty program, it doesn't matter if there's an appointment and, the, and she's booked and busy because she's always booked and busy, then I have to wait. So I needed to get my nails done. So I found another place that I've been eyeing and the place looks beautiful. It's like a nice spa. And I was like, you know what? Let me give this place a try. So this can be my backup because there's no way that I should be walking around with chopped nails because I can't get an appointment. You know what I mean? Get over yourself and find somebody else. Like she's not the only nail tech in the world or in New Jersey that can do your nails. So branched out child and went to another salon. So a guy did me, right? <laughs> Y'all, first of all, when he was on my toes, I was like, okay, I like this. I like him. Like I would definitely come back to him. He could do my toes again. Love how he works. Like I love how he cleans and you know, everything was on point. So then he gets to the massaging of my feet. Y'all. Now, my girl, my lady massages my feet and it feels amazing. Love when she massages my feet. But when he was massaging my feet, y'all, I felt like I was cheating on my man. <laughs> y'all, it felt too good. Like, honestly, why did it feel so good? So I'm just like, oh my goodness, like, all right, mister, <laughs> like, like I'm enjoying this way too much. It just doesn't feel right. Like, what are you doing? Like, I don't want a foot massage. Please just stop. Y'all, it was the best foot massage, like from a nail tech ever, ever. I was just like in awe and in shock. Like, okay, is that what we doing? Then he had the nerve to ask me if I wanted some water. I'm like, hell no, sir. This ain't a date. What you take me for? Like, this is a, just hurry up and finish massaging my feet because it feels so good, <laughs> y'all. So then we finished the toes. Now I go over to the station with the table and now he's doing my nails. Love how he did my nails. Love how everything turned out. Everything is clean. You know, I'm very particular when it comes to nail techs. He checked off all the boxes for me because like I said, I'm very particular when it comes to my nails. Although it's always blue <laughs> and it doesn't really look like anything but i just really love it neat and how it's cut and how it's shaped and you know all that so i'm like okay he does my nails good too i'm coming back to him say less so now it's time for me to dry right i get jail so now it's my last time to dry under the uv lights before the alcohol so then he proceeds to walk behind me and massage my shoulders y'all let me let me push this back because i'm Y'all, when I tell you this was one of the best shoulder massages I've ever gotten from a nail tech, I mean, he was like going in here with it and, and just like, he, mind you, it was only like five minutes. Like it wasn't even that much time, 
but it was weird he was hitting the fingers and the pressure points and i'm just like mister this is feeling too good in my mind you know what i mean like <clears throat> <clears throat> Like, I don't want to end up in the woods. I don't want to end up in a lake. My man is type cray cray. So please, mister, don't make me feel this good. Because you're making me feel good. <laughs> Y'all, it was so crazy. I've never, ever, like, ever went to a nail salon and got that massage. Like, it was the best 10-minute massage ever. Because I think he spent, like, five minutes on my feet, five minutes on my shoulders. Um... Is it just me? Like, I felt like I did something wrong. Like, it just felt crazy to me, but it was so amazing. Okay, I had to get that off my chest because if y'all get your nails done and, you know, your nail tech massages you, like, y'all know, like, y'all are here with me. So, anyway, so I want to share with you my fragrance of the day. So, Mr. Cologne on Instagram, he, um, did a reel and he said to layer Mancera's instant crush with Delina. So I was like, you know what? I'm in the mood for Delina exclusive. I love the creaminess and just, I just love Delina exclusive. I love Delina too, but I was just in the mood for Delina exclusive. I was like, let me try to layer it with Delina exclusive. I'm going to try it with Delina, but Delina exclusive and Mancera's instant crush is a whole vibe like what it's so good together it lasted when i say this lasted like 12 hours on my skin i got so many compliments nobody was smelling better than me it's the bomb if you have this you have to try it it is amazing love 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 and let me tell y'all this is my third day in a row wearing this combination because it's just that good it's just too good he had a um like a step by step like how many sprays to do of each and honestly i just kind of just did it like like whatever like i sprayed more delina exclusive because this has a more even though this is like a loud scent it's beast mode this is this is like a roaring fiery fire burning animal okay <laughs> so you don't need that many sprays of instant crush because I didn't want the Instant Crush to overpower the Delina Exclusive. But together, like, just spray more Delina Exclusive and less of this. But you can still overspray, but just spray more of this. Y'all, this combination is freaking wicked. So before I show you my stuff, I just want to say thank you guys for 20K. I finally made it to 20K. And when I say finally, it's not like, oh my God, I worked all this, you know, waited all this time. Because I've been on YouTube for two years now. June 30th made two years. So I'm not saying like, I, I appreciate the fact that I'm at 20K because there's been people on the platform longer than me that have less subscribers than me. So I'm very grateful for that. What I'm saying is, you guys were congratulating me when I was at like 19901. I'm like, y'all, like I have like 99 more to go <laughs> before I get to 20K. But you guys were like, speaking it into existence because that hundred could have taken a month for me to get like who knows you know what i mean like youtube and the algorithm and how people grow and everything is real fickle so i never try to jump the gun but i did make it 20k and thank you guys so much i'm gonna have a whole vlog like i'm gonna do a, a separate vlog because i have some giveaways to do so i just need to buy a couple of more things and um do like a whole 20k giveaway vlog so this isn't that but I just want to thank you guys because by the time you're seeing this video, I'm at 20K. And like I said, you guys have been congratulating me when I was at 19901. Okay. Now, so I did put in my community tab on YouTube and on Instagram. I want to do a Q&A because I feel like 10,000 later, the first time I did like a get to know me, it was when I made 10K. So I feel like I've gained 10,000 more subscribers. So it's only right I do another get to know me. A lot of the questions had nothing to do with me. Okay. It had to do with like my relationship and all this. And obviously, you know, like we're not going to answer those personal questions. But um, I did want to address one thing in this video because I got a lot of these either questions or comments between Instagram and my DM. Well, Instagram and my YouTube community tab. 
a lot of people were asking me how much of my collection has been purchased with my coins or and gifted to me so this is what i have to say about that because i see that a lot i get a lot of those questions like on a regular or comments like you know i'll do an instagram reel and somebody will leave a comment like oh well you ain't buy most of the mm -mm. let me just let me just um clarify that whole thing so i started to build my collection in 2020. in 2020 i started off with about 50 bottles maybe 40 something close to 50 or a little bit over 50 bottles of fragrances um, that was my collection. So in 2020, when we were locked down, like, you know, 2020, I feel like was the year of fragrance. It was the year of everybody buying a whole bunch of perfume. We couldn't go anywhere. We couldn't see friends and family. Fragrances was what was keeping us comforted. And, you know, fragrances was what we wanted. We wanted to smell good while we were on quarantine. Okay. So a lot of my fragrances i got in 2020 so when i started my channel i started my channel in june 30th june 30th was my first youtube video it was on tabit yada yada y'all know the story if you've been here and um yes i was buying my fragrances as my channel started to grow and started to progress i was starting to get fragrances like my entire nishane collection um was gifted to me uh, my entire Kayali collection, um, my entire BDK collection, my entire, I think that's the whole, that's it of, oh, um, imaginary authors, my entire imaginary authors collection and a few other fragrances sprinkled in, oh, and my entire house of Oud and some fragrances sprinkled in. Cause I had, um, initial fragrances prior to so avant-garde getting them. I had, um, side effects which i purchased with my own coins and i also had um atomic rose but now i have more initial fragrances because they're being sold on so avant-garde.com clive christian they purchased my first clive christian was it my first no 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 i purchased my first clive christian which was x um with my own coins and they purchased 1872 for me and then the rest of my clive christian was gifted now i say all that to say I don't know what the percentage is of fragrances that I purchased or fragrances that were gifted to me. But here's the thing. It's like a whole stigma or like a, it's like a bad thing in the fragrance community to get fragrances gifted to you. I don't understand why. If somebody's going to gift you a fragrance, are you going to turn it down? And you might turn it down. However, me, I'm not turning it down if I want said fragrance. Now, the thing is, I think people feel like if you get a fragrance gifted to you, that you're obligated to say you love it. No, here's the thing. If I get a fragrance, if somebody sends me Delina Exclusive, right? And it doesn't work for me. What doesn't work for me doesn't mean it's not gonna work for you. So I'm gonna let you know, it's not my favorite. It doesn't work for me. It's very sweet or it's very um, woody. You may like sweet and woody. So if I don't like sweet and woody, if that doesn't work for me, sweet and woody may may work for you. Just because somebody doesn't like a fragrance or a fragrance doesn't work for them, it doesn't mean it's not going to work for you. If I absolutely love a fragrance, um, it doesn't mean that you're going to love it. If a fragrance lasts on me for 20 plus hours, it doesn't mean you're going to get the same projection, the same longevity, the same performance because we're different. Body chemistry how you store your fragrance. Yeah, I mean, there's so many factors in why a fragrance would last longer on me and not on you and vice versa. If I get a fragrance and I love it, I love it. If I don't love it, you may not see it on the channel because I don't fragrance bash. If I get a fragrance, like let's say Love Fest Burning Cherry. You guys wanted me to talk about that fragrance, so I did talk about it. I told you guys, for me, it's a no because I love Lost Cherry. Um, For all the other reasons that I told you in the video that it wasn't, one of my favorite Kaali fragrances, but it doesn't mean that it's not going to work for you. You know what I mean? So I'm going to let you know about the fragrance, what it did for me, and you can make the decision of whether or not it works for you. That's why I love Fragrantica. I read the reviews on Fragrantica all the time. Just because somebody says a fragrance isn't good, it doesn't work for them, reasons why they may hate it will be the exact reason why I may love it and vice versa. You know what I mean? Aside from the fact that if I wanted to buy my own perfume, I could buy it if I wanted to. I don't have to because I get them sent to me, okay? I get a lot of my niche fragrances sent to me 
by um, the fragrance group, thank God, because I'm on a platform talking to you about fragrances. So there's nothing wrong if someone gets fragrances gifted to them. I just want to clear that in the air. That's just my opinion. If you still feel the way that you feel about it, it is what it is. But for me, I'm going to collect the free fragrances, send them on over. Okay, because I love perfume. I love to smell good. And if I don't have to buy it, thank you. Because I'm going to talk about it on the channel anyway. So I just wanted to just basically touch on that real quick. Because like I said, it was brought to me on Instagram and YouTube a few times. You know, other than this time of me asking you guys about, um, you know, questions to ask to get to know me. So I just wanted to talk about that. Because I feel like it's like a whole thing in the fragrance community. And it's kind of annoying. Because it's like, listen, are you the type of person that... If somebody sends you something, like, if you don't like it, are you going to say you like it just because? And another thing, no one, like, for me, I've never gotten paid to talk about a perfume. Like, I don't know that people do that. I know that people get paid sponsorships from Sephora, I have, um, or from, like, Nordstrom or Saks or even Marcus or whatever. I don't know that somebody is getting money. Here, I'm going to give you X amount of dollars. Can you talk about my perfume? If they are out there, they have never contacted me and I'm here waiting and available. Pay me to talk about your perfume, okay? Like, please. But I don't know of any fragrance companies that's paying people to speak about fragrances. They're gifted to them, you know, for them to review and to talk about them and to, you know, share them with their audience. But I don't know of anybody who's getting paid per se to talk about a fragrance other than like, a commission or a link, which is no different from you going in Saks Fifth Avenue or Neiman Marcus or Nordstrom, talking to a sales associate who works on commission and them selling you something and they're getting a portion of that that they sell to you. You know what I mean? So anyway, hold on a second. I was getting a phone call because I'm vlogging from my phone. So actually, let me turn this. Hold on a second. All right, so really quickly, my girl from Dior hit me up and said she had a gift for me, and I went and picked it up today, and I'm so excited to share with you all. It's so, I mean, it's nothing like super crazy, but it's so, it's so cute to me. I just love them. Am I opening it the right, opening it the right way? Okay, so this is the box, and it says Christian Dior here, and... Okay, so this lifts up and I got candles. How cute is this, y'all? They're like the neon collection from Christian Dior. This blue one, which you know, this is like literally my favorite color. And it smells so good. They're so strong. I haven't burned any yet, obviously, because I just got them. But I just think they're so cute. And they all smell amazing. They look so pretty. This was a gift from my Dior sales associate. I'm so happy. Can you guys see? Let me see. Let me show you the prints. You guys have seen this print before, though. How cute is that? I mean, it's just so cute. I love this. So I will be burning one soon. So that was that. And then I stopped at Chanel. I had no intentions of shopping. First of all, what I got does not warrant this bag. Like, let's just start there. <laughs> what I got comes in this cute little box. Oh, where's my flower? Uh-uh. The flower back on that bow, girl. So it comes in this cute little box, as you can see. So you guys know, like, if you shop from Chanel you know this is an accessory but it was one that I could not leave in the store and I love costume jewelry you know people have mixed feelings about costume um like you know luxury designer costume jewelry but I love it so obviously it comes in like the pouch in the box you know the whole thing and this is what I got I got these earrings. First of all, the gold is golding. Can you guys see that? It says Rue Cambone. It doesn't have the number on it. Just let me see. Can you guys see that? 
hopefully you can see. And then it has the CC. Let me see. I'm not gonna try them on because I haven't cleaned them yet, but I just wanna hold them up to my ear. How cute is this? Can y'all see that? I think it's so cute. It's so cute. And I just love the fact that it's real, like, not real, but um, I love the fact that it's like gold, like gold, gold. But um, let me go, y'all, because I'm starving. And I know Bae's starving, too. He thinks I'm up here changing my clothes and I'm up here talking to y'all. So let me get ready and I'll see y'all in a little while. to cook so we're gonna do a breakfast today i'm gonna do a breakfast skillet it's a man pleasing man getting skillet okay that's what i call it because whenever Bay gets this i literally can get almost anything i ask for not anything we ain't gonna get crazy but almost anything so we have the potatoes here we have an onion and just so you guys know i peel my own potatoes i'm gonna peel them and chop them up i know there's tools for that but i actually like cutting up my potatoes it's actually kind of therapeutic for me so here's the thing this meal is very simple and it's easy it's really tasty but there's a lot of moving parts to it so with the potatoes because i like my potatoes crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside i'm gonna parboil them partially boil them and then freeze them and then fry them so it's a whole process with the potatoes but they come out so much better to me because I don't like mushy potatoes unless I'm in the mood for like a soft like hash type of potato. But for the most part, I like my potatoes crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. So we have some smoked beef here that I'm going to put in a skillet. We have some eggs, the onion and some sweet um, peppers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to peel, wash and cut the potatoes, boil them and then I'll come back to you guys. All right, guys, so the potatoes are chopped, they're boiling. I'm gonna keep them in here for the next, mm, like, two to three, maybe four minutes tops, because I don't want them fully cooked, because they're gonna get fully cooked once I fry them. But I want them partially cooked, so that once I put them in the freezer and bring them back out to fry them, they're gonna be nice and crispy on the outside, but nice and soft on the inside. So I'm gonna keep them in here for another four minutes, and then I'll get back with you guys. All right, guys, so once the potatoes start looking translucent in color, that's when we take them out. I'm gonna shock them by just running a whole bunch of cold water on them, and then I'm gonna put them on parchment paper, but you'll see that process. All right, guys, so I took the potatoes off the stove. They're partially cooked. I'm just shocking them in cold water to stop the cooking process, making sure they're all nice and cold. Get the water on all of them. You don't want to feel any warmth. Get down on the bottom. Make sure they're all nice and cold. Stop the cooking process. 
So I'm gonna put them on parchment paper, put them in the freezer, and that way they don't get you know sticky together, they don't get stuck together, and then I'm gonna work on the meat. I mean, it's the colors for me. It's the red, the green, the gold, and the white for me, honey. This makes your dish look so beautiful, along with tasting really good as well. So I'm not gonna saute them too much because we do like a little bit of crunch to our veggies. Not too much, but you know, they're not gonna be super like wilted or anything like that. So that's why I put everything in there together, the onions and the peppers. So I'm about to season these. The meat is looking really nice and brown. I'm just waiting for just a couple of more minutes for the potatoes to freeze. So I'll be back with you guys in a little while. All right guys, so this is what the potatoes look like when I take them out the freezer. They're not exactly frozen, but they're nice and cold. I just put them on paper plates with the parchment paper on top. I didn't want to crowd the plate too much. So this is what it is. I'm about to dump them in the oil. All right, y'all, so the first batch is in. You don't wanna crowd the pot too much because then the potatoes aren't gonna come out nice and crispy. They're gonna come out too soft. So put them in batches. I'm gonna do three batches. Typically, I will cook them inside the actual skillet that we're gonna eat it out of. But because I'm doing so many potatoes because we're both eating the skillet, like if I was just doing a fabe, I would just do a personal one in his own little personal skillet. But I don't feel like working with two skillets at one time, so I'm just doing it the fast way and just putting all the potatoes in the one big pot. So like I said, do them in batches. You don't want the potatoes to come out too soft. Well, you don't want them soft at all. You want them nice and crunchy and crispy, so definitely don't crowd the pot. Y'all hate this corny with that Illuminati mess. Paparazzi catch my fly and my cocky fresh. I'm so reckless when I rock my Givenchy dress. I'm so possessive, so I rock his rock necklaces. My daddy Alabama, mama Louisiana. You mix that Negro with that Creole, make a Texas Bama. All right, guys, so the skillets are almost ready. I um, just layered them with the veggies and the potatoes, the sausages, and some cheese. I just made a little well. You can't really see the holes, but I'm going to just um, pop the eggs down in there, pop it in the oven, and I'll be with you guys for the finished product. All right, guys, so breakfast is done. We have the eggs and the sausage and the potatoes and the veggies all in the skillet. So we're going to have some mimosas. And I just have some chili sauce there. Bay doesn't really use sauce like that, but I like to have sauce on my skillet. So we're going to enjoy our breakfast, and I'll talk to you guys soon. What we're going to do right here is go back. Way back. Back into time. Time. Let's take it back to the old school. Let's take it. Wind a gun jet means forward. You requested it, so we rewind. All right, guys. So I just got back from Macy's. I went specifically to Macy's to pick up the Burberry Her Elixir. I'm her, 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 her. I'm she, 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 a, a. I always knew that I was going to get the Elixir as soon as I heard that it was coming out. 
One, because I'm just a Burberry Her girl. I have the Intense, I have the Original, and I also have the EDT. Now, the Elixir, it does smell similar. You can definitely tell it's part of the Burberry Her family, but it's definitely more intense, and I love that about it. I feel like this version can be worn on a date night. This can be worn on a special occasion. You know what I mean? If you want to project more, if you want to smell a little bit louder. Although the original isn't really soft, but I just feel like this one right here, it has blackberry, it has um, strawberries. There's tonka or sandalwood, I believe, in the base. It's just super sexy. So instead of me purchasing, well, repurchasing the EDP, now I just have the elixir and I'm super happy with it. So I don't feel like doing this with one hand right now. But I just wanted to show you guys that I got it and I absolutely love it. Now I have all three Burberry hers here to show you guys so here we have the edt it's perfect for summer it has a pear note it's super juicy you definitely smell the burberry her dna but it doesn't have a strawberry note i'm not sure i don't think it has strawberry in here i think the fruit in here is pear and you definitely smell the juicy pear and it smells more fresh and more clean than the other two but you definitely can tell that it's part of the burberry her trifecta family <laughs> So here we have the original, which look at my dent, y'all. It's like super disrespectful because I love this fragrance so much. So I was actually going to purchase another one of these, a backup bottle. I was going to wait till some sale. I missed the Macy sale that they just recently had, so I didn't pick it up there. I was going to wait until the Sephora vib sale because by then this would have definitely been done because as you can see like i said guys i absolutely love this i love it for bed i love it for in the house i love it for spring summer um i can wear this early fall as well you know what i mean but mainly i wear it in the house in the bed in the house to bed <laughs> and in the um spring summer now the intense totally obsessed with the intense as well although my dent isn't that significant because i have so many other fall winter fragrances the majority of my fragrances are small are um fall winter i guess because i live here on the east coast and it's always cold so most of my fragrances are fall winter fragrances so i don't get to run through them like how i run through my spring summer fragrances so this one is definitely more intense than the um, original, but you can definitely smell the similarities between the two. So like I said, for me, it was worth getting because I am a her girl. I do love the sexiness, the more deeper, darker nature of the elixir. It's just super sexy and I'm glad I have it. So if you guys are contemplating and wondering, should you get it? you should get it because it smells really really good like i love it if you love beverly her you'll love this and honestly smelling the elixir it doesn't smell anything like 540 rouge i feel like if anything the intense would smell a little bit closer to the extra the 540 extra to me a little bit just a little something nothing crazy but definitely i feel like you smell more fruity notes like the more strawberry note is prominent in the elixir there's like a super woody dry down in the elixir it's just super sexy and i'm glad i have it i'm only annoyed that i had to get the big bottle because it didn't have the small ones because i would love to have gotten like this size so they can all be you know sisters together <laughs> but anyway guys it's late i'm tired and i'm gonna close out the vlog thank you guys for watching let me know oh you know what i almost forgot to tell y'all so i smelled the ysl um le parfum it does smell good if i didn't own any of them that's the one that i would have gotten but if you own this the um libre intense i feel like you don't need the parfum unless you just want to collect it and you just want all of them because the bottles are beautiful and you're a collector, you know. But if you're not a collector and you just want good fragrances and a variety of fragrances in your collection, I don't think you need the Le Parfum if you have the original and especially if you have the Intense. So that's just my two cents on that. So that's it, guys. I will see you on the next one. Be safe, be great, and always strive for greatness. Wait, did I say that right? <laughs> wait i'm so tired y'all like i'm delusional what is it stay safe be great and always strive for greatness ai the great signing out but i'll see you in my next video peace